watercolor. It's not easy being green. Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and we want to help people that are not artists become artists. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell. We're talking about green, baby. Green is hard color, and part of the problem is you simply have to practice it. Nothing coming out of a tube is a believable green. They don't look like real greens. So you always have to mix. So if you have to mix anyway, why buy the green? Um, that's my take on it. All greens are made from phthalo green. And what's phthalo green? It is just a mixture of phthalo blue and yellow. And why do I mix? Well, I'm cheap. <laughs> you know, I see no reason to spend for a, a money for another thing that I can mix. If I have to mix greens anyway, might as well just do it from the uh, phthalo blue. It just is to me. It just seems to much more cheap, interesting, simple, and because. Everything, all the tubes on the market, the majority of them are very non-believable. You're going to have to mix. And I think that's why people have such a hard time with uh, mixing is you really get your, get your uh, mixing to the test. And so I'm going to show you some ways that we can try to make believable greens without making it hard. If you look at a tree. A tree has a whole bunch of different colors. Just one tree will have the light, the medium, the dark, a little blue, a little red. I mean, there's all these different colors. It's not just simply green, though our brain says that, but it's not reality when you really take a chance and study it. By mixing on greens on the paper rather than in the palette, you get the most variety of greens on your paper and it will look more natural. Daniel Smith has some amazing greens that actually are pretty natural looking. Um, believable greens. What kind of person are you? Do you like tube greens? And if so, what ones do you like? And, or are you a person who mixes your greens? And do you mix it on palette or on paper? Comment below. Let's talk about greens, baby. Well, let's talk about it. All right. I know if I mix this color, which is phthalo blue green shade, some kind of yellow, I'm going to get green, right? Well, let's talk about this a little bit. Phthalo blue green shade. Oh, that's awful to say. Very transparent which is lovely and it really does a pretty color, but it's kind of obnoxious. Everybody has their little formula, right? Mine is Quinn Gold and this. It, it, and I think there's a reason why. This is one of the more transparent yellows and this is transparent, so it does make some pretty greens. Now, I can mix this and I can get, you know, pretty colors. You know, it allows me to go with a whole bunch of different um, shadings. Now see, that's a little obnoxious. This is kind of nice. So, you know, you have to look at it, but that's my typical one. I will use that, but how I actually do it, I don't mix it, well, I can't even mix it well here. I kind of lay it down here and then what I do is simply allow it 
to mix how it wants to. So if I have a shape, and then I can, and if I think, oh, it's a little too, I would just, you can see I'm using the side of my brush. And maybe I'm thinking, okay, there's not enough uh, brown in it. And maybe I need, and so maybe I need a little dark, right? Because I can see that there's going to be some dark, so I can throw in some darks as I'm doing this. And I would just play with it. To me, that is looks like much more like a a regular green. And when it dries, it looks like a Gregor green. If you want to use phthalo green, you have to mix it with one of the warm colors. Pick one. They all work for years. This is how I did it. And then I would just mix, you know, let's put some, to make dark, we'll just throw some, you know, some browns. And, you know, I'd tuck that in. And so this would be my, my, my take on how to do this. I'm not a landscape painter. I don't really care if it's perfect. I just try to get it so you say, oh yeah, that's a tree, look at that. <laughs> you did good. Uh, it depends upon what you're looking for, but I like it just very loose and free and a little dark, a little light. So no matter what you do, you're gonna do some mixing. Either on the paper, you know, by doing this. Now see, that's a very ugly, ugly color. This at least looks more natural. Um, so how do I tone that down? Any of the warms, even the purples will bring it down. If I take a little purple, <laughs> And you can watch it just calms it down so it's not obnoxious phthalo green is an ugly shade there are a lot of ugly shades most troop greens are really ugly so let me use a little and and you can see i'm adding it but i'm not scrubbing it in i'm just kind of giving it a little oomph so it doesn't look so bright and that gives it something other than that really vibrant yucky color i have a bend in this sorry about that it's kind of weird if you do phthalo green you gotta mix with something so you might as well just buy phthalo blue green shade and just mix it with it yourself it's just as easy so let, these are kind of pretty right they're not ugly and they still look green so let's mix it so if, if I use this and that, and that's a pretty color, that's not an ugly color, and then I let it dry. Is that a pretty green? No, <laughs> it's not a pretty green. It's ugly. Um, now I can add, I can Put that as my mix and then add in a little bit of color to make it interesting but I certainly would not call that a pretty green that was ugly um, and you know it's just and yet that's a reasonably you can believe that that's green it's not like obnoxious it's kind of pulled it out of there and mixed Unless you're wanting to do layer after layer after layer. And I'm not a layer person. I do three, four times and I'm out of there. If I want to calm, if say I have this color, this is phthalo, thereabouts, uh, phthalo green. When I'm mixing this and that, it's not pretty. So, what you need to do is, if you're going to mix it, put a little something on it to calm it down. This would be like a um, kind of a green, and I just use some red. If you use any of the pinks, that will get you a kind of a gray-green. 
So if you're looking for that, um, if you're looking for, say you're looking for, there's a particular type of plant in this area, you discover what kind of works to make it right. Um, you know, some of these are, can be, you know, greens. Um, it's a little too dark. Let me see if I can calm it down just a tad. But, you know, you can look at your area and see what you have. Or you can just make it up. But I like things that look reasonably green, not unbelievable. I also wanted you to see how I can get dark greens. It's the same thing as we did the last video. I take and I make it dark. And you guys are going, oh my God. It's no problem. Watch the other video. It's easy to fix. Um, and then I can add this, and this will bring it down. If I use this, this will give you kind of a deep. So it's easy to get darks, too. And they, they can be quite pretty. But I would rather do this. Now, so you can see that, what that looks like. It's a very pretty, that's a pretty green. That looks, I kind of like that. But let's mix it on the paper. I will get the same basic oomph, but it just, and if I want to, I can mix it and put it here and move it around a little bit. So I can get that, but with a little oomph. I mixed gold, phthalo blue, and a little magenta. And that gives you a nice dark green. And it's a pretty green. Not wussy, but I think this is prettier than that because you see the little thing. Beautiful. That didn't come out so good because the original color was phthalo green. So, you know, phthalo green has to be mixed and then you have to add other colors too. This is actually is a nice color all by itself. And yet, because I don't like things just being flat, this is undersea green. I see what this is. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is undersea green. This is actually a nice color by itself. You can just throw that puppy in. So this one is green. Oh God, I can't even remember. I can't sell all the name. Appetite? Uh, no. <laughs> it's green and it'll be in the below. My three, I will list them because I can't say them, but that's kind of my way as I mix it and have a good time. And I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun. Because you know what? If I ain't having fun, I don't want to do it. I just want to show you the difference between putting a color in. I'm assuming you would mix your greens with some kind of warmth. I don't care what, but some kind of warm. Okay, so I'm, and it looks kind of like that. That's lovely. All right, so I put my color here. You always want to have little trees, holes in your trees. Now, what I want you to see is this is this green appetite. It, I know it's not appetite, but it's something. Look what it's doing. This gorgeous, I'm just mixing this a little bit so I have a little tree trunk. I would do this, you know. Okay. And some people, that's really how they paint. Now that is a pretty, you can almost get by with it because it's just a great green. Green, Appetite, and I don't know if you can see what's going on here. It actually mixes, uh, separates in the thing. So I'm going to do my normal mix. This is a beautiful color, but it still needs some pop. It's not done, and you have to do it again and again to get the right colors that you need. What I would suggest. So I'm using my normal colors, which is Quin Gold. Phthalo blue, green, 
shade. And so I would throw this here because, you know, in this in the summer, maybe even I'll use some of that um, in this in the morning, there is sunshine, right? And it's pretty loose. I don't know if you can see how loose it is. It's very um, it is very and one side's going to be one side is going to be more sunny and one side's a little darker. And so I'm just moving it here and moving it there. And I'm gonna throw, now I'm gonna just pop it in where I think there might be darks. And I'm just moving, and I'm allowing it to do whatever it wants to do. I'm not actually just, you know, saying, oh, it must be this, it must be that. Now, but I'm making it pretty juicy so that I get a, um, a nice, uh, wash now see right here i started to get not enough juice now and also to note i am on a uh very nice uh slant which makes this much easier and fun all right so again we know that we know that over there it is light and i'm coming from the top to the bottom now i'm going to throw in some and I'm just using those two colors right now, um, three colors. I'm using uh, the white or the light yellow. And you can get a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I'm not, and you can see I'm not really doing much. I know that this side of the tree is a little light darker. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little darker right from the beginning. And so I am still working on my tree. Now, it's still wet, right? So I'm gonna bring this straight into the, um, into the branches. I do wanna be on my light side, right? So here's, right there, there's gonna be, but right here, it's gonna be a lighter. Figure that this will be, um, And so I do this right at the beginning. So when you look at this, this is a beautiful color, but what looks more tree-ish? Now I'm looking and I can see, okay, I want maybe a couple of uh, branches. And you can see, I'm just kind of adding it in. Maybe I'll throw a little dark here, right? Because it really is dark. So over here, I'm going to throw in a little of the, um, I'm putting a little bit of pink or purple. And that just gives it, you know, a little, a little something. And to me, yeah, tree done. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't expect everything to be like perfect or, you know, I am just, um, I, I, I just want to look, say, tree. Is that, say, tree? I, I, I believe so. I don't know. You have to tell me. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a tree? Um, now, and it's, I'm out of there, and I don't have to play. To me, mixing on the paper makes such a difference. Yeah, I'm liking that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be fun. I could even just do a little, a little water. Go ahead and let it have a little texture on the trunk. And see, I can do that and I'll be done because I still want to use the, um, a little bit of the trunk. I'm going to use that same color with a little, uh, uh, brown, which I will write it down because I'm having issues saying the name. And I just put it here. And I'm not going to do a straight line. See this line? That's not how it really looks. There'll be ins and outs and ins and outs. And we, and you can get this done, you know, without having to be stressed. This should be really fun. 
I mean, this is, and so I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of, I don't know if you can see, I'm just kind of messing it up so it's not perfect. I don't want it perfect. I want it to be a little rough. And well, then, that's my way, and that's why I do it and mix it on the paper. If you have any questions, let me know. For the darks, I come back through and I do a little, if I want a little darks, I'm using uh, purple, uh, pinks, um, and that gives me some of that darker color. Isn't that fun? Didn't that give it just a fun feeling tree? All right, now if you can see, look at that. It really is green aperitite. That's my best guess. Um, it really is a pretty color, but it's nothing like that. That has personality. That one has zing. I love zing. Okay, stop playing, Michelle. Put that brush down. All right, gone now. Not gonna play with it. You know, and is that enough to say tree? Do you need a lot more to say tree? That's the kind of thing you need to say to yourself. Did I got that, it's a tree. Do I need to make it, um, see I still really wanna play a little bit. Let me tell you why. Do you see this? This is a flat line, which shouldn't be. And I'm gonna fix that because if I don't, it'll annoy me forever. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving it alone now. But it had, I want, it was a bad shape and shapes are my thing. And you can, I'll talk about shapes in videos about design. So what is your favorite mix of greens? Let me know. Believable greens are made on paper. It gives you the most variations and more exciting mixes that you could never do on your palette. My opinion only, but you know what? I love mixing because I practice. And that's really what you need to do with your greens is going to be simply to practice. So you know what? I use my greens all kinds of places that are not necessarily normal. I normally use them in my faces. Um, I love my a little pie in the ear. I love greens. They can be beautiful, warm, natural colors. Pop a little color on your greens and make them vibrant and exciting. So you know when you don't know what you're doing and you're just stroking, thinking, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. Drop that brush. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell, please. Sign on for my Facebook and my Instagram page. They're in the comments below. And you have a wonderful week. And be careful. Bye.